States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Today they spent all morning with us today. Uh, they had a lot of great ideas. They talked to Casey, got Casey lined up. Uh, it's really going to be a great, great fit. Uh, I got the engagement letters right now, and that's just to work out until they get everything going. And then once they get everything in place, he told me we're looking probably between you know between three thousand to five thousand a month of the service, which would be less than what we was paying Natalie. And uh, the only other thing I, I can give to you. Uh, could get you guys later is they also want to do the payroll section which is about seven thousand a year to do the to handle all the payroll and uh, right now we currently pay about seven thousand for income so we can get rid of that income payroll package portion of it which will lower the income basically to wash but yeah but yeah i mean uh like i said well, Margie, Margie. Margie. When, we're working, when you're working the budget, where we import that out of in code, will that cause any noise or if we take that out? No, it shouldn't cause anything. No, just like I said, just a module that we pay for. We, we got seven modules that we pay for. Right, but what the, because right now don't we print the budget worksheets and print out of income, right? Yeah, but that won't, that won't affect that part. We just, we'll still have income. We have the financial income. We just won't have the payroll model of income. So, I mean, it's still going to have to keep all our accounting software. So we can still pull, still pull payroll numbers out of what we have if we lose that module. Well, no, we won't. But they would keep them. They, they can give us the numbers for us. It's their module that they have in their system. As long as we have a way of yeah. getting kind of like for like. So yeah, they will. I mean, it, it's, they got their own accounting software that they use. And right. we just, uh, it's basically, when it comes down to budget, I uh, have them finish up. The budget for you know, for the past three, four years and all that. I, don't know I mean, that's the only if you guys want us to allocate. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if we, I mean, if we're taking seven from here and putting it over there, I mean, I don't. I mean, yeah, yeah. Because, yeah the only thing I was just want to make sure. But yeah, I mean, so she came in today. Margie's really, really good. Know, she came in today, and she actually spent half day just working with Casey. She had, you know, she saw a lot of stuff that could be done better, templates that could be completed a lot easier and faster. <laughs> so, and then she uh, plans on coming, working Tuesdays and Wednesdays here, live here, and then remote the rest of the time. Well, I like the idea of diversifying our risk that it's not one employee, it's a whole company. So, <coughs> somebody gets mad and quits or gets sick, we're not like that to time out until we find somebody. So, uh, looks like it's largely expense neutral. As long as we can get our budget numbers, this will be coming up. 
Okay. Yeah, well, what we did, we've got the, we've got the 23, 24 numbers. Okay. So it's in the, it's already in that worksheet. Yeah. Okay. Um, so yeah, just be a matter how to go forward, and at least this would get it clean with our fiscal year. Mm -hmm. So, is there a motion? So moved. Second. Any other discussion? All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Okay. Looks like we'll move forward. Uh, Mr. Meyer, you want to do the honor? <coughs> you bet it. You bet it. Ordinance number 1092 is an ordinance of the City of Buckner, Missouri, for the purpose of establishing a procedure to disclose potential conflicts of interest and substantial interest for certain officials. First, we have House Bill 0192, and this is a required thing that we have to do every year for the State of Missouri, and it's just a housekeeping that we have to do. Move to suspend the rules. Second. All in favor of suspending the rules? Aye. 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 Any Second. Bill number 1092 is an ordinance of the Bu City of Buckner, Missouri, for the purpose of establishing a pr procedure to disclose potential conflicts of interest and substantial motions for certain official secondary bill number uh, 1092. 2045, excuse me. Soon we go to Is there a second? Oh, that was. Go ahead, Rick. Yeah, that <laughs> Is this a roll call? Or? Yep. Alderman Jones? Aye. Alderman Glass? Aye. Alderman Wilcock? Aye. Alderman Lewis? Aye. And the next discussion, consideration and action regarding uh, purchase of equipment for the wastewater treatment plant. Yeah, what we got now is uh, this machine is going to cost around $2,200. It's uh, by state that we have to uh, do sampling with wastewater treatment plant once a month. And one of the samples we have to do has to be a 24 hour composite sample. We have an old machine to quit working on this. And so in intro, the state allows you to do an eight, uh, eight hour sample where you put one sample every hour for eight hours and then that's considered just as good as 24 until we get it going. So this machine would take care of that. It would go down at the uh, AFO building right past the UV. Is it adding more equipment to the backup generator? Huh? Adding more equipment to the backup generator or is that just well, yeah, this, is, this is number two. Oh, I'm on the wrong one. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. It was just, yeah. it was just, <laughs> it's got to be up a little. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, I it's a refrigerator machine that, you know, I say it's well, one of the Yeah. By <laughs> state law, we, you know, when it comes to the test, we have to, it has to be 24 hour composite, which this machine would draw one sample, which will be 20, you know, it'll be out for 24 hours. And it's $2,200. Yeah. Yeah, notice we're getting, we're getting a little thin in the water sewer right now, but we can go with that. We're about right at 50,000. So is there a motion to approve? I'll move to approve. Thanks. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? All right. Next up, discussion and consideration of possible action regarding the smart power services proposal. Um, as you know, we've had some issues with storms uh, taking the power out. And uh, we've today the city hall was on generator, but we we have some excess capacity. Uh, but right now it's running lights, but it's not running computers or some of the plugins. I think didn't work. So I'd ask Joe to, to talk. And I don't know if you want to. Okay, I'm, 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 I can talk whatever. <laughs> so I got hold of the guy. He came out and checked it and basically we run about a third of the power that we need. I mean, we've got two thirds more of the power we can use out of that generator we got right here. Uh, me and the chief coming around this morning, it was a good time to see what was working, what wasn't working. Basically, Casey's office and the court office, everything worked in the office, computers, phones, outlets. Uh, Natalie's old office, which is gonna be the new county office, the mayor's office, my office, completely dead, nothing, no power, and no lights, no power, nothing. Uh, the courtroom here has lights, the lights work, but none of the outlets work when the, when the backup generator is on. Please comment on another one. I mean, I had most of the lights work, but no, about 85%, I'd say, of the outlets didn't work. Which, for us, the biggest thing was the Regis computer and the, and the refrigerator in the evidence room. We can't lose that blood evidence, so we need that one to work. But that was about all we had back there. So why would it, why aren't those working? Because it's, we need a new panel. Yeah. The panel that we have is maxed out. So if we would put in a new electrical panel, we could wire those things. And 
my other thoughts was because uh, it won't support all of the air conditioning, but we could probably do like the police because of the body armor and stuff, make sure that area is cool, and then have the area up front. Maybe. Up. I mean, they're going to have to come out and test and see. So it's not, it's not just fed into the main panel? The it is fed into the main panel. Full. But the panel is full. The general we got, um, we're going to the whole city hall. I, it's I'm, small. I'm with you. I'm yeah. I'm somewhat of an electrician. Yeah. Trying to figure so what out he why, said he would be with. Full, I'm not sure. Yeah. The 2500. What he wants to do is come in and he's going to pull 12, 12 off the emergency panel, <coughs> put it in the new panel, and then add some more for the new panel. Then we could add more stuff and, and fully use that that generator that we got out there. Now one of the things I had talked with the mayor is it would, it would be nice maybe, and I, I talked to the smart power guy if. We could maybe upgrade and get a bigger unit and maybe they trade in this unit to upgrade and get a bigger unit because I would like to get a bigger unit to do all city hall. That way in times like this, we could actually make this a cooling suit because everything would be better. As you know, the citizens are very concerned about that and came here and what <laughs> So, yeah, you know, it would be nice to make it a cooling sim. So that our generator that we got was only to support certain things. Yeah. That's that's what I needed to know. Because yeah. the, when you're saying redo the panel, that doesn't make any sense to me. Yeah. I mean, it, that, that's that just, like 100 amps. Or that's just, that's like just an that. output. It doesn't know what, it's, what, it, what it goes yeah. to. Yeah. Like, no, exactly. no, it, it, it has enough. It can put out more than we're using. Okay. Yeah. But we've got to add another panel to it because the panel that Cody is using is full. So we've got to add another panel to it tied into the emergency panel. So I don't think we necessarily went with the twenty five hundred dollars. To was that for the just the assessment, or was that just? No, that's just install the panel. Yeah, install the panel. Yeah, install the panel, and he'll work with us about what we can put on it and what we want to put on it. You know. So, so our generator right now won't run the air conditioner on here, even if you. It won't run all of them. It won't run any, or it won't run. I mean, I can well, see it not running it, all, but he said that's what I say. If you put the new panel, and then he can stop going to and we can figure out what we can put on what we can't. You know, my thoughts are like now. If like I said, we, at least we know which air conditioning units run what. And like I said, we can put if we can get enough power. We can probably put these two on it. I, I mean, it's up to. Was there more than just him wanting the air conditioning in here? But it's oh yeah, it's been something because also in the winter you could. I mean, we, when we had the ice or whatever it was, the power was out in the winter, uh, you know, just being able to keep this place, then you could use it as a warming center as mm -hmm. needed, but. Uh, I mean, I've been having all of the people who want to know where the cooling center was at, and we don't have one, and then, like I said, I know there's a couple of people, I know you see you had four calls with people, citizens that were on special machines, medical machines, I mean, they could come in City Hall and use it, but all these outlets wouldn't even work either, so. So we're going to we're going to take care of this, and then we'll check into something. Yeah, he said he's going to give you a code of either get a bigger one and, and trade in the one we got. Or, or okay. But either way, we need a new panel. Yeah, either way, we have to have a new panel okay. anyway. And that's twenty five hundred dollars. General fund money. That was that was my thought. And the general fund is sixty seven thousand. We should get another forty thousand by early next week into that too. Motion to approve. Second. Any other discussion? All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? All right. Uh, elected official comments. Mr. Jones. How close are we to finalizing the park, uh, spray park through Golden Rule and Park Board? I'm sorry, what's that? Are we about ready to pay off everybody on the. Uh, I have not park. got that request yet from uh, uh, Joe. So. We still hold a nineteen thousand dollars of the retaining fund, and they will get that to they they got to do. Uh, Joel from Universal Construction is doing a checklist to make sure they get done. You know, this stuff clean up and stuff like that. You know. And then he's got to get all the affidavits from all the subcontractors saying that they've been paid. And then once Golden Rule chose all that into Joel, he will okay it. And it is a only request to me, but as of today, I have not seen, got one request yet. 
Yeah, I thought I saw in the checks that we'd sent them like 108000 or something like that. There have been a pretty good set of payments made to the Golden Rule. Yeah. You think that it's going to take long to get everybody paid and then to build the damn thing? <laughs> and it's up to they know they know they ain't gonna get the last twenty thousand until they get everything done and everybody signs off on it. So to pay it off in twenty six. <laughs> Unfortunately, they owe one contractor that much. Oh, good. Really? Yeah, or close to it. Really? Yeah. We just need to make sure there's no liens against us. And there will be if they don't. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. maybe they already have it in the in the time that I've talked to him. Yeah. yeah. Well, I talked to Jill last week, and he told me that they was that they've got it, they worked out. And they did. I don't know. I, don't know. I, like, I haven't talked to anyone. I haven't talked to Bill Moore. I haven't talked to the company guy. I, I don't, so I don't know. That's why we hired the took party for. But that's right. Like I said, nobody he, he won't get that last twenty thousand until everybody signs off on it. And I don't know if this is a comment as much as something to chew on. Uh, Mr. Summers has done, I think, a nice job. I haven't seen all of it, but uh, cleaning up the trees and stuff there along uh, Fire Prairie, there just north of the the park, and the park board was wanting to know what the kind of get a temperature from the board whether we would approve if he went on the way all the way down to the wastewater treatment plant. You're talking about the the old trees and the yeah, 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 the, yeah. And I was the other day that the way it's needing to be cleaned out. And they're starting. Yeah, he started and he's down. I think just to the east end of the football field. Uh, but, and the number I was given was thirty five hundred dollars. We'd get him down to the basically they'd go on down to the wastewater treatment plant. Um, I don't think we got to do it. I don't say. I said I didn't. Uh, he's got the big you the big rig down there right now. Well, I tell you, those trees go the same fast. He's doing a good job. And so, I mean, well, well, it's there. I mean, if, I, I, I didn't see any reason. I, I didn't want to, I didn't want to say anything without asking you know, so. for all that's in there. So if, if there's no real concerns, uh, it, as I understand it, come out of the park fund anyhow. So if the park board is fine with it. Uh, good. There's no objections from the yeah, people. Sure not. I don't think so. Okay. I think that when they actually get ready to write the check, we just, I just wanted to let them know but yeah, we we think we yes that would be okay versus uh, there's some hell noise in the crowd. What do they do with all that dirt? I don't know what they're doing with the dirt, but they wanted to use the wood to have like a community mm -hmm. lawn fire or something. Mm -hmm. I don't know. After they, they got checked with the fire department to make sure, but there was a question like in September, October doing a community lawn fire mm -hmm. down there. Yeah, if they need to get rid of the dirt, they can bring it up to my place. Well, either that, or, either that or leave it in a pile over there where they can access it when they need to fill in stuff. Yeah, no, I, I mean, you know. Yeah. Dirt's not cheap, despite the phrase. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Anything else? <coughs> all right, well, thank you all for coming this evening. I'm going to take a motion to adjourn. Call move. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Stand adjourned. Thank you. Thank you.